So The Walking Dead Season 6 finale just aired, and at long last, a moment that every comic book reader has been hyping for a very long time, kind of blatantly actually, has come to pass. The moment where Negan introduces one of the survivors to Lucille. Negan's favourite weapon of choice, and possibly also a part-time lover. In a very controversial move, AMC's decided to hide the identity of the victim and chose to show the final scene in first person from the victim's point of view as Negan beats the ever-loving hell out of him. And everybody has their own theories on who it might be. Now I know who dies in the comic book, and I'm not going to say who dies, because even though the comic book and the show are closely matched, a lot of the characters that are still alive in the TV show were supposed to have died ages ago, and many of them, like Daryl, don't even exist in the comic book. So it's hard to go from the comics and say you know who's going to die. I know who it is, but I won't say. Now most people knew that a death was coming, a big death was coming, even if you'd never read the comic books, from the way the scene had been set up, from the tone, from the tension raised throughout the episode, you knew somebody was gonna die. And I personally think that just by looking over the episode, looking over the clues that it gives you, that you might be able to tell who it is, or at the very least, who it isn't. First off, let's talk about who it isn't. The first two people who are safer than houses are Carl and Rick. No way in hell are they the ones getting hit by Lucille. Not only because, well, I think Rick is far too important to the show. If you hear that little line at the end, he says, Anybody moves, anybody says anything, cut the boy's other eye out, and feed it to his father, and then we'll start. That wouldn't really make any sense if the victim he's about to kill was either Carl or Rick. So I would think it's safe to say Carl and Rick don't die. Now some people have said, maybe it's Abraham. Bitch nuts. He was talking about kids, which is a huge death flag, and he also stood up to Negan. Plus, when Negan swings the bat, the person who gets hit takes it and then sort of tries to stand up again or raise their head again. Which would definitely fit Abraham's character. But the thing is, while all that makes sense and those are good theories, the problem is Negan sounded surprised by the person he hit when he said, take it like a champ. It sounded like he was surprised, like the person he hit, he didn't expect to take it that well. And I think he would expect Abraham to take it well. I just don't think it's Abraham for the simple fact that it wouldn't be shocking enough. So I don't think it's Abraham. I also don't think it's Eugene. Eugene got a huge moment in this episode where he gave Rick the recipe to make bullets and where to find the materials. And he had that whole emotional farewell moment where he was like saying goodbye. I personally think that was misdirection. And again, because I do not think it would cause the sort of shock that AMC are looking for. I think the character they've chosen is going to leave the audience stunned, and that's why they're holding back on showing who it is. Now there's also Maggie, but I don't think for one second AMC or its writers would have the balls to kill a pregnant woman on a show. The amount of backlash they would get from oh, the people online and the fans saying, you can't brutally murder a pregnant woman like that by a man, that's, that's the worst thing ever, how could you do that? They're not going to kill Maggie, it's just not happening. It would be shocking, sure, I just don't think they would do it. Aaron was also there and some people have seen say maybe it's him because you know he fought to come on board the trip with them to bring Maggie to Hilltop so maybe it's him. I don't think it's him either for the simple reason that it, nobody would give a fuck. I mean let's be honest here. Aaron's an okay character but he hasn't been around that long and most people don't really have any strong feelings towards him one way or the other. The other reason why I don't think they'll kill him is because he's gay. And they already received backlash for killing Denise because she was one of the very few gay characters in the show. That's a thing now with TV shows, I guess. You can't kill the gay characters, otherwise you'll receive backlash. I don't think it'll be Aaron for the simple fact that it's just nowhere near the sort of impact that they're looking for. So Aaron, no. If it is Aaron, AMC can go fuck itself. In fact, I don't think it was any of the characters that were trying to help Maggie get to Hilltop. I don't think it was any of them. And there's a big clue in the finale that shows you who it might be. Throughout the episode, we keep on seeing these weird beams of light. And we don't really know what the hell they are. We don't know if it's from a blindfold, from somebody looking up through a trapdoor. We don't know what it is. And then in the final moments, the final scene, we see that it's actually the back of a vehicle. And all this time, we've been seen through the eyes, the first person view of somebody trapped inside a vehicle. And there was only four people in this vehicle. Daryl, Rosita, Michonne, and Glenn. So I think personally, it's one of these four characters. However, I think there's a way to rule out even more characters. Now I have to ask myself, would AMC also have the guts to have Negan kill a woman this way? I just don't think they would. 
I mean, I wouldn't care if they did, but I just feel there would be another backlash if they let a big man kill a woman like this on the show. I, th I think you know there would be. So in my opinion, that only leaves two other possibilities. Daryl or Glenn. Now, both of these characters have been around since Atlanta. They're one of the OG survivors. So killing either of them would be a big, big upset. Now, if I thought AMC had the balls to do it, I would say that Daryl is the one that actually gets killed. Think about it for a second. I know he's a massive fan favorite character. However, that might also be one of the reasons why they decided not to show his death. Think about it. A lot of people have said if they kill Daryl on the show, they're going to stop watching. So what better way to get people to tune in for season seven than by having you not show Daryl's death and then show it in episode one of season seven. You can even spend most of the first episode of season seven trying to uh, soften the blow, so to speak, with Daryl. Like making us reconnect with him or making him accept his fate through flashbacks or something. Something like that. Another reason why it might be Daryl is because the character that plays him, Norman Reedus, is going on to do another show. Something about motorbikes. So perhaps because he's going to work on this new show, he won't have time or because he knew he was going to get axed, he decided he could go for that. I'm sure a lot of people were trying to figure it out by watching as Negan moves down the line saying, eeny meeny miny mo. But then they'd start to do this whole cutting trick and you can't really figure out where it is. It's interesting though, right as he was about to say, you are it, the camera lands on Daryl. And you. But he doesn't say it. It then cuts and cuts and cuts and cuts and cuts. Maybe that means something. Maybe not. I don't know. So pointing towards all the clues, I think it's Daryl. But the pure and basic fact is I just don't feel AMC are brave enough to even contemplate doing that. So that's the only thing working against it. So I believe it comes down to at least Daryl or Glenn and I'm leaning towards Daryl. It would certainly be super shocking if they did. I think we can all agree on that. However, somebody raised the audio at the very end, and suddenly I think maybe it might be Glenn. Just listen. As a comic reader, I kind of knew that this was coming, so I wasn't too pissed off at the fact that they're holding back who the identity of the victim is, but I can understand how people would be pissed. They built up this tension, this scene perfectly, and then they blue balled us in ways I didn't think were possible. But we'll all find out later on this year in October. Let's face it, we'll all find out a lot sooner than that by the cast photos and the leaked scenes from who it is that actually died. So it won't be a, a great difficulty to figure it out. I just want to say that Jeffrey D. Morgan kicked it out of the goddamn park with this role. The only thing I wish is that AMC actually allowed him to swear on the show, which is a thing I can't understand. You allow all this brutal carnage and violence, but the word fuck is apparently out of bounds. They did the same thing for Breaking Bad, and it, it breaks my mind. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Especially for Negan, the character needs to swear. I mean, saying shit and bitch isn't enough. We can handle it. We can handle this shit, we can handle this. Also, Trevor Phillips, Stephen Ogg, nailed his fucking role. God damn, can this guy act. Everything I see him in, he's a fucking perfectionist. And a special shout out to Andrew Lincoln, because he looked fucking terrified in this episode. Like his whole world was just falling around him and he had no worries. Props to him, he did a fucking swell job. Anyway, who do you think it was, personally? Do you have any clues as to who it might be? I'm still saying it's between Daryl or Glenn. From the evidence I pointed out, that's who I think it is. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you got any ideas on who it might be, by all means, share it. See ya!